Breakfast is truly the most important meal of the day. The quality of your breakfast dictates how your hormones and blood sugar respond well into the evening. Today you'll discover some of the very best foods to lower blood sugar, fight diabetes, boost your energy levels, clear up brain fog, and much more. Okay, let's crack into it with eggs. Eggs are a breakfast superstar, setting the stage for better blood sugar control throughout the day. The University of Missouri study found that a higher protein breakfast led to significantly better insulin response at lunch and dinner. This led to lower blood sugar levels not only in the morning, but also after lunch and dinner, an effect known as the second meal phenomenon. Eggs are packed with high quality protein and healthy fats, which slows down glucose absorption from any carbs you eat subsequently, preventing blood sugar spikes. The protein and fat in eggs also makes you feel full for longer, reducing the chances of snacking later in the day. This can be a game changer for weight loss and blood sugar control. But eggs aren't just about protein and fats, they're nutrient powerhouses packed with B vitamins for healthy nerve function, antioxidants like zeaxanthin that protect your eyes against high blood sugar damage, choline for protecting your heart and reducing blood sugar, as well as vitamin D and selenium, which support bone health, immunity, and thyroid function. And as a pro tip, if you're planning to indulge in a high carbohydrate treat meal, load up on eggs earlier in the day. This strategy can help mitigate the impact of those extra carbs on your blood sugar. Whether you prefer them scrambled, boiled, or poached, eggs are a delicious and versatile option for a blood sugar friendly breakfast. At number five, avocados are another fantastic breakfast of choice. Like eggs, avocados set you up for stable blood sugar levels throughout the day. They're low in carbs, but high in healthy monounsaturated fats and fiber. This winning combination slows down digestion and sugar absorption into your bloodstream, maintaining steady blood glucose. Avocados are insulin sensitivity superstars. Better insulin sensitivity means balanced blood sugar levels, more energy, and a broadly lower risk of disease. But the benefits don't stop there. Avocados are loaded with magnesium and potassium, which help to prevent muscle cramps. They're also rich in vitamin K, crucial for bone health as it improves calcium absorption. For your brain, the healthy fats and antioxidants in avocados support cognitive function and may help reduce the risk of dementia. On top of all of that, did you know avocados can boost your body's ability to absorb nutrients from other foods? A 2005 study found that eating avocados with tomatoes increased lycopene absorption compared to eating tomatoes alone. Lycopene is crucial for protecting against diabetes-related heart damage, making avocado and tomatoes a potent heart friendly combination. Now, we don't endorse eating toast or bagels for breakfast. However, if you're going to eat them, topping them with an avocado is a far better option than something like jam or honey. For an extra nutrient boost, add tomato, red onion, or salmon. Sprinkle on cinnamon and turmeric for their insulin benefits. For a quick on-the-go breakfast, simply cut an avocado in half, sprinkle on a little salt and pepper, and enjoy. Avocados also pair well with some of the other breakfast options we'll discuss later. But before we get to that, at number four, we have fresh fruits. Fresh fruits are excellent breakfast options, especially when paired with protein or healthy fats. Now you might be thinking, aren't fruits full of sugar? Let's be clear, fruit juice is essentially soda in disguise. It's concentrated sugar without the fiber, causing rapid blood sugar spikes. Whole fruits, on the other hand, are nature's perfect package. When you eat an apple or a handful of berries, you're getting a ton of fiber along with the natural sugars. This fiber acts as a blood sugar regulator, slowing down sugar absorption and preventing unwanted spikes for most people. But the fiber benefits go beyond blood sugar control. It's crucial for maintaining a healthy gut microbiome, which plays a vital role in insulin function, immunity, and nutrient absorption. 
Berries are particularly beneficial for blood sugar management. They're rich in antioxidants called polyphenols, which combat inflammation and oxidative stress, two factors contributing to insulin resistance. Plus, they also have a low glycemic index, meaning that they'll hardly impact your blood sugar levels. Other great options include citrus fruits like grapefruit and oranges, which are packed with vitamin C and flavonoids. Apples and pears contain high amounts of pectin, a type of fiber that can improve insulin sensitivity. For banana lovers, opt for the slightly greener ones. They contain more resistant starch, which behaves like fiber in your body and has less impact on blood sugar compared to ripe bananas. Timing matters too. Eating fruits after protein-rich foods or healthy fats like the eggs or avocado we discussed earlier can further reduce potential blood sugar spikes. Even on busy mornings, you can make smart choices. A quick tablespoon of quality olive oil followed by a piece of fruit on your way to work can provide a balanced start to the day. If you have diabetes, test your blood sugar reactions with different fruits, but for most people, eating a piece of fruit after eggs or avocado isn't going to be a problem. Next, a low-carb smoothie can be a fantastic option to boost your nutrient intake while managing blood sugar. The key to a great blood sugar-friendly smoothie is balance. Start with a base of low sugar fruits like berries and add a handful of leafy greens such as spinach or kale for extra fiber and nutrients. To slow down sugar absorption and keep you feeling full, include healthy fats. A quarter of an avocado adds creamy texture and heart-healthy monounsaturated fats. A tablespoon of almond butter or a small handful of walnuts provides satisfying crunch and omega-3 fatty acids. For a silky smooth touch, add a teaspoon of extra virgin olive oil. It pairs surprisingly well with fruity flavors. Some other fantastic ingredients to experiment with include cinnamon, which can help improve insulin sensitivity in unsweetened almond milk as a low-carb liquid base. For an unexpected nutrient boost, try adding half a cup of frozen peas. They're actually a great source of protein, as well as providing a good dose of magnesium, potassium, and B vitamins. Whatever you choose to put in your smoothie, just remember to avoid fruit-only smoothies. Be sure to mix in some healthy fats, protein, and vegetables to create a balanced, blood sugar-friendly drink. Before we get to the top two, is this useful? Please click the like button, it really helps us. Click subscribe and turn notifications on to see new videos as we release them. If you have any questions or a tip to share with the community, leave us a comment. Counting down to number two, yogurt and kefir. Yogurt stands out as an exceptional choice for managing blood sugar levels. It's rich in protein and healthy fats, which work together to slow down the absorption of sugars and keep you feeling satisfied for longer. However, the true value of yogurt lies in its probiotic content. Probiotics are beneficial bacteria that play a vital role in gut health. Recent research has uncovered a significant link between gut health and blood sugar control. A well-balanced gut microbiome can enhance insulin sensitivity and reduce inflammation, helping you to burn glucose more efficiently, thus keeping blood sugar levels in check. When selecting yogurt, it's best to choose full-fat varieties. Low-fat yogurts often compensate by adding sugar or artificial ingredients, which can counteract the blood sugar benefits. And of course, stay away from flavored yogurts. If you want some sweetness, consider adding fresh berries or a handful of nuts for extra nutrition and natural flavor. For even more concentrated sources of probiotics, try kefir. This fermented milk drink is similar to yogurt, but offers a broader spectrum of beneficial bacteria and yeast, providing even greater support for your gut health. As an added bonus, kefir typically contains less lactose than yogurt, making it a suitable option for those with lactose sensitivities. And now for our number one breakfast to keep your blood sugar in check, chia and flaxseed breakfast bowls. 
chia and flax seeds pack a serious nutritional punch. They're loaded with fiber, protein, and omega-3 fatty acids, making them the ultimate choice. In fact, a 2011 study found that eating just 10 grams of flaxseed daily reduced fasting blood glucose by a whopping 19%. Black seeds are also the single richest source of lignans, special compounds which protect cells from damage. To make the most of flax seeds, you'll want to grind them before eating. Our bodies struggle to break down the harder outer shell of whole flax seeds, which means we might miss out on those amazing nutrients inside. By grinding them, you're essentially pre-digesting the seeds, making their nutrients more bioavailable. You can use a coffee grinder or buy them pre-ground. Chia seeds, on the other hand, don't need grinding. These little black seeds have a unique property. When soaked in liquid, they form a gel-like consistency. This gel slows down the digestion of carbs and helps to prevent overeating. To prepare chia seeds, simply soak them in water or your favorite milk overnight. This activates the seeds, making their nutrients more bioavailable and creating that gel consistency. The ratio is typically about a quarter cup of chia seeds to one cup of liquid, but you can adjust based on how thick you like it. Now let's build that perfect bowl. Start with your soaked chia seeds, add some ground flax seed, and then you get to be creative. Throw in some creamy avocado for healthy fats, a handful of berries for antioxidants, or sprinkle on some nuts for extra crunch and rich protein. For an extra nutrient boost, mix in some raw cocoa powder and top it with fruit. The ultimate rule for reducing blood sugar is to limit your refined carbs, but if you are going to eat the occasional treat meal, there are certain steps you can take to reduce the damage. For more on that, watch our video on how to reduce blood sugar spikes while eating carbs. Remember to click like and subscribe if you haven't already.